friends today in this video we are going to learn that how by using a rotary switch we can turn on or off this motor before understanding the connections of the rotary switch let us first discuss that why we want to use this rotary switch as you know whenever we want to turn on or off a three phase motor we generally use contactor there are a lot of advantages of using contactor along with this for the protection of motor we use overload relay through overload relay we get protection from short circuit and overcurrent if you don't want any kind of protection you just only want to turn on and turn off this motor then you can use this type of switch if we want to turn on and off this three phase motor then the switch used for this purpose should also be a three phase as you can see at the output terminal there are three terminals three on this side and three on this side it means by using three phase supply you can use this rotary switch this rotary switch i have now is manufactured by cnc company you can see the model number here now before using this rotary switch you have to first check that how much maximum current can flow through this switch you can see here 25 ampere is written this means the motor you have if you look at current rating of motor if maximum current rating is 25 ampere then in this condition you can use this switch but i will suggest that if you have such a motor in which high current flows then you should use this kind of contactor the sparking generated when any load is turned on or off that sparking will be reduced by this contactor but here in this case there is no system to reduce sparking the switch used normally in your home to turn on or off the bulb or fan same type of switch is rotary switch only difference between the two is this is of single pole and this is of three pole now by performing the connections through this switch to run the motor then what you have to do is whatever the three phase power supply you have you can see i have this three phase power supply connect three wires at the output terminals of power supply i am using a cable here in which three wires are present i am taking all the three wires and connecting with the mcb if you don't want to use mcb then don't use this i used mcb here just to turn on and off the power supply if you use mcb then your motor will be protected from overload and short circuit but one thing you must keep in mind that the current rating of mcb must be little more than motor you can see here the mcb i have has a current rating of 40 ampere and the current rating of the motor is just 3 to 4 ampere so just for 3 to 4 ampere do not use 40 ampere mcb i used this here just to show you how it works so i connected all the three wires at the output terminals of mcb take other end of these wires and to the switch we will connect all the wires in this way now at output terminal of rotary switch we have to connect cable of motor this motor cable contains three wires so take all the wires and connect with these terminals when you are connecting keep phase sequence in mind on the terminal where r phase is connected at the output also connect r phase similarly at middle connect y phase and at last terminal connect b phase wire so r y b connected in sequence here so for rotary switch only this much connection is required now if i turn on this mcb and after this if i turn this switch you can see motor is turned on when switch is off motor turns off when switch is on motor turns on let it be off for now so this rotary switch has simple connections and simple working friends if you are going to use rotary switch for turning on or off the motor then keep this in mind that motor will not get any kind of protection for protection always use a mcb so that you will get protection from overload and short circuit i hope you like this video if you like this video give like on my video if you are new to the channel subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video